you don't know whether he's going to be a you know, pompous asshole or you know, really full of himself, sweep into the room in his long black cape and, you know, here, kiss my ring or something. Well, he was a theatrical person, and so everything he did had that aspect. Suddenly, there was this man who looked like the devil, you know, to the popular culture and was talking about Satan as this, this positive role model. Mr. Satan, Church of Satan, boom, that's it. Sex is not the answer to everything, but it's probably the prime mover to a great deal of what we do. Homosexuality, asexuality, bisexuality, transsexuality, not as a tolerance, but as a celebration. The only people that I would cast a curse or a spell on would be people individually that would sort of get under my skin. He codified the way I think many people, probably most people, actually live, but won't admit it. Teaching women how to bend men's mind to their will. Owning your power. It's a, it's a great book for teaching women how to manipulate men. <laughs> When you went to visit him, you went into his universe, and it was like a parallel universe. Anton LaVey's legacy is everywhere, forever. It, it's, you, you can't unring a bell. You trust me, I trust you. That's the way it has to work. There has to be some trust between people or demons.